there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we'll be playing through another amazing episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake. We are getting through this playthrough. We are speeding through it because of course we are because <laughs> I'm in this game. Can you believe that? I still can't believe it. Take a second before we begin to hit the like button and I will thank profusely a Niagara Falls of Gratitude to my patrons who support this content and this stream and me. So thank you for that. And now, let's get on to the gameplay video. Enjoy! Continue? Gosh, just a second. Look at this menu screen one more time. I don't always, every time, appreciate this menu screen, but truly, I feel like every time I should. It's that good. It's so pretty. Hmm. I love it. Wall Market, the Vegas of Midgar. But I also feel like it's like a little bit of a scummier version of Vegas. Like Vegas now is like super commercial, family friendly and safe, but like maybe it's like Vegas like 15 years ago. Anybody anybody here from Vegas and agree with me? Seventies Vegas? Even that long ago? Maybe 50 years? Okay, so it's like Vegas 40 years ago. So where are we? We're at the Coliseum. Madam M told us to enter this Coliseum battle so that we could win a prize that will pay for a dress for Aerith so Madam M can send her into Don Corneo's mansion so we can save Tifa. That's the plot line as it stands right now. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. I love Aerith. At every point, Cloud's like, okay, I'm gonna do my own thing. Aerith is like, no. Nope, I'm not leaving your side, mister. Not gonna happen. I love it. Because, and I wonder, I do. I wonder if that's almost supposed to be how the player feels. Like, I know I as a player, with my reasons, uh, don't want Aerith to ever leave the party. But I wonder if maybe, like, if maybe like the player is supposed to be like, no, Aerith, don't leave the party. I don't want you to leave my side. I, I don't know. Is it, you think there's something there? I don't know. He said go down below. Talk to him. Everybody knows I've got the best Coliseum souvenirs around. And when I'm open for business, you can buy some. Are you sure you have the best Coliseum souvenirs? Cause all I see is this weird, gross, like, like mutant hamster with like injury patches and weird colors. So I sort of feel like you don't have the best souvenirs on the planet. Couple hats and that's it. I don't know, sir. Oh, can you not imagine being poor? Where am I going? Underground Coliseum. I guess because I'm inside, I can't. Do I just open the door? Oh, it's an elevator. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> of course it makes sense. Down, down, down we go. So how deep does this thing go, you think? 
I wonder how many people are fighting. Is Cloud not gonna respond? Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus. Like you should. He, do you think he's still like wowed from his amazing hand massage? He's still just like thinking about it. That's why he's so quiet. And then Aerith directly calls him out and he's like, hey, What? Lumber, I'm just focused. Over here. It's really something. These voice actors are <laughs> so good. I remember meeting them before uh, it was announced. And I remember thinking, I am so excited to hear everything uh, that they're doing. And so I'm really excited. It's uh, Greg and Chris and... Um, they're, they're both wonderful humans, so please do find their social medias and follow them there, because stand-up guys and uh, you too. really Wait awesome. Wait here until it's time. Really awesome job. Wait here until it's time. Tell me what to do. I'm going to explore. Okay, I came out of that elevator, so what if I try going in this little room? A potions vending machine and my best friend! Bench! Thanks, Bench. I don't know how much I need you because I just slept at the inn, but still, you can't pass by a bench and not sit on it. You see a bench? You put your butt on that bench. It's what you do. Okay, so Mega Potions are on discount, which is great because I'll take as many as I can afford. Uh, they had one in stock, so I bought one. Ether, I'll buy one on discount. Phoenix Down, sure, because it's on discount. The rest, I don't really need more Phoenix Downs. I don't really need more Ethers. I could use more Mega Potions, but they're sold out. High potions, I mean, I don't know how many I'll need. I don't know anything about this fight. Well, I know one thing about it, but I don't know anything about most of it. So, as for the rest... Can't say much about it, honestly. Like, why are they giving me the option to buy these things, but they're not in stock? Oh, because I'm poor. Okay, so because I don't have the gill, I can't buy these super awesome power-ups accessories. Cool. Uh... Okay. So then my options here might be kind of limited. I haven't really been happy with my with my build recently. 
so we have a few upgrades to do before we head into this fight. Nope, we don't even. We don't even have a few upgrades to do. So what do we have here? Elemental and wind, which is generally good against like dragons, drakes, but it's not, I haven't seen it be good against a lot of things. So I'd almost rather switch her to ice here or thunder if we're gonna have robotic opponents, but I don't know. It's just kind of a toss up right now because I don't know what I'm in for. I think Prey stays, Ice stays, Shiva stays. Well, what are our other options? Chocobo and Moogle, no. Kerplunk, no. Or Cactuar, no. So let's keep Shiva and Ifrit. Magic attack power stays up, Elemental, Wind. But let's switch this to Let's switch this to allows you to expand the range of spells with the linked materia. Oh, so like makes it have a wider area of effect. Okay, binding barrier, lightning we'll put in there just in case. I might regret not having wind in there, but at the same time, I don't know. This is actually really helpful, so I think I'll keep it in for that for now, because then I get three ATBs just ready to go. Fire he keeps, he always has that. Assess, so I know weaknesses. Barrier is good, HP up is maybe not necessary. Maybe instead I want to have something else in there, like... Cure, yeah, a healing materia might be really good for him to have because I really miss that in the Fat Chocobo fight. I thought, Cloud has an ATB, I need healing. He could use potions, but I just need to heal one party member. But if he doesn't have a very high, like, magic, it's not going to heal as much as a potion anyway. And we have the potions, so maybe it's better to give him Item Master? Then we can level up that materia and potions will do better. I kind of dig that option. I don't know how well it's going to do for us, but for now, I'll try it and we'll see. <gasps> Who's this? Johnny, what are you doing here? Always this kid's in trouble. Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. I don't want to scare you, but here's something that should scare you. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. Oh, did you see how her braid got caught on her shoulder for a minute? I love when games surprise you with the level of detail. I, I don't really know what to call it, but you know, you kind of expect hair to be kind of blocky because that's the limitation of the game in the time that we're in now. But when a hair, like, or when anything unexpectedly catches you as realistic, it's kind of cool. Okay, so we talked to Johnny. We looks like we could talk to him again. It looks like we can take. It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it, and they say you'll be raring to go for hours on end. If I had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. Uh, it's a gift from Don Corneo. I get this feeling that maybe it'll power you up temporarily, but then there's a price. 
A gift from Don Corneo sounds very suspicious. This is very much like the Alice in Wonderland, like, drink me. You don't just go around drinking things that people tell you to drink. My gut says, uh-uh. No. If only I tried it. No, Johnny. Don't do drugs, kids. We'll see. We'll save the game here, even though we just loaded in, so I don't really need to. But we'll save it anyway. Okay, they're they're hyping this fight up to be really challenging. Let's see how it goes. You two ready? First round. Okay, here Try we go. Try not to get yourselves killed. just have this feeling. Then we're going to cast Assess on your Bloodhound. And weak to Blizzard! Sweet! So we're going to fight with Aerith. We're going to use lots of ice on them and hopefully Shiva will build really quickly. Unless they're in the middle of an attack or knocked off balance, they evade all magic except for spells that are guaranteed to hit. Okay, so the plan that I just built um, it's gonna need to be adjusted. Uh, they evade all magic. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll stick with Cloud until they get staggered. How fast do they get staggered, though, is kind of the question. Because I just don't have the confidence to like wait until they're in the middle of an attack because finish it ready or not here i come good night good night okay this isn't too bad so far that's it tagging out hang back i have a feeling this is just the beginning though <laughs> He got wrecked. He got wrecked what is hard. Now what? Because he said first round, so I'm going to assume there's a second round. I'm going to assume that round is meant to give confidence, and then they throw a really hard battle at you, and you get your butt kicked, is what I'm going to guess. Please return to your waiting room. We return to your waiting room. Well, that's one win down. Go team. Mm. What's wrong? 
The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah, wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Uh, okay. Best to expect the worst. So, we didn't use any potions, but... We're gonna go sit on our bench. Benchy bench bench. Gonna Cloud sit on Aaron. this bench. Your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Stop telling me what to do, announcer. I'm having my bench time right now. Announcer doesn't get it. Look at these flowers! Victory flowers! And mind you, there's an Aerith flower in there as well. Also, what are flowers doing in here? I thought Aerith was like one of the only people who could grow flowers in Midgar. She's like, when's the last time you saw a real one? So I'm kind of wondering, is that like a slums versus non-slums thing? Maybe in the other sectors there are flowers. Oh, they could be fake. Yeah, that's true. That's what they call beginner's luck. That's what I'm worried the about. Next match won't be so easy. Bring it on. Ready to rock? Well, I'm ready. Just remember. Did they call that semi-finals? Oh, so there's only three rounds? That doesn't sound right. For the second match in our spectacular semi-finals. Okay, we'll see. With death, I present the lucky couple. We're like unlucky for the rest of us. Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric. That's not our fault, Spectator. You chose wrong. Oh, is it going to be the bandits again? Are you going to steal my gill? Ladies and gentlemen, check their pockets because they may have already robbed your blind. The most contemptible son of bitches in town of War Market, Max Benefit! Bring it on! I've kicked your butt already once. Okay, so we're gonna be already. I got some plans for some triple slash. I got some plans for fire. Look at! Oh my gosh, she's so cute! This is ridiculous. Please tell me someone's made that an emote. If not. So we're doing it. You, ladies and gentlemen, don't look away, or you may miss the best part. The second match of the Corneo Cup semifinals begins now. Okay, so I don't like guy with nail bat. He's going down real quick. That was quick. Oh, I've been slept, and Gil was stolen from me. What do you have that can be helpful? I know what I'm gonna do. Mind backing off a bit. Get ready. Why is lock on me nothing? What are we gonna do here? Is that a trap on the floor? I'm gonna go towards Cloud over here so that we can be together. And, cause I don't know if there's like, a limit, a distance limit, a proximity limit on prey. So I'm just gonna get close, okay. cast Why that. Oh, we'll switch on over to get some fire here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you guys just doing standing together, getting murdered together? I mean, it's kind of 
kind of nice for you, though, but... Ooh. About to get wrecked. Oh, I got wrecked! No! Try this. Does it anyway. Wrong person. No. Oh, I got trapped! I'll take care of them. Here. That's it. You'll see. So long. Okay. We're gonna use some prey again. My turn. And Cloud is gonna use some fire. On you, you, or you. He keeps getting trapped here. Meanwhile, we're gonna use a high potion on Cloud. I'll take care of you. And Cloud is gonna get another high potion. I don't want to use that though. I don't think he needs it. He's not taking damage quickly. He's just taking strong, it okay? over time. And we got a bench coming up. One more shot. So, oh, there's one. All right. Cloud, just go ahead and hit him with uh, one of those. I regained Gil on top of the Gil I won for beating them. Regained a thousand Gil they took from me. Good luck, but somehow the winners of our match are Cloud and Aerith! Cloud and Aerith! I'm gonna walk all over your body again. Rude. Yes. Oh, he's really passed out this time. Alright. Yeah, you're you're passed out. It's not even worth it. Contenders, but I won! Please return to your waiting room. Yay! Chocobo Sam, wishing you recommended us now? Of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. <laughs> so have half the people in this town. Look at the anyway, floppy bee tail in the back. It's floppy. Listen, oh. I'm really concerned what <sighs> type of fabric it is again. or texture. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. It's like bouncing back when there. I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. Ooh, they've got history. You gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing. Andy. Oh wow. <laughs> That animation was so good. Family. He was like brushing yeah. his lip and his lip was actually like moving under it. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Yeah, come on Cloud, what is your deal? Why are you so negative, Nancy? Bench! It's bench time. Okay. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please okay. make your way to the we game. used a couple potions there. Wait a minute! It goes back on discount every time you come in here. So right after the first round, I could have bought another mega potion for only 300 gil. Wow. Rude. Look at all those discounts I was missing out on. <sighs> Just rude. How come we don't get more flowers for winning more? I feel like we should. Okay. What are you? Oh, there's all our flowers. Winners! Those are winning flowers right there. How did I know I was gonna be getting more flowers though? Not bad, not bad. Really, staff? That's all you have to say? Look at these flowers. These flowers say otherwise. Man, 
You proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. That's right. It's the We're final pretty match. good. You good to go? Final match. Bring it on. Did I save? Hey, it's the finals. Take all the time you need. All the time I need, gatekeeper. See you next Wednesday. He has no idea. He has no idea who I am. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna save the game. Then we're gonna get back into this Coliseum battle. We'll see how it goes. It's the final match. You good to go? I'm good to go. I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Uh, no. Gonna win it for Tifa, not for you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Cornell Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts would surprise us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eren! I love how well their character animations were done. They're just so good. A good line. Chocobo Sands champions! Cutting and sweeping! Come on now! <gasps> I am so glad I have lighting materia! More like Shimmer armor. More oh, like I'm so glad. Eric, you can't keep calling it cheating. Ooh, I know it is, but you're gonna have to do it anyway. Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history! What are those robots gonna do with one million the guild final prize match money? Of the Cornell Cup begins now! Deal with that. I'll show you what I can do. Oh, that was very quick! Uh, hey! <laughs> hey, that's cheating. You can't attack me. Can we target them? There we go. Uh, stop it! Dang it, did that get interrupted? That it did. Can you leave me alone, please, ma'am? Stop it. Go on. Stop chasing me. Fire blast. Okay. How shocking. Okay, this should do... A little bit more to a stagger. Oh, it's just gonna kill it. Okay. Here he comes! This one's for you! What how did Cutter get so damaged already? I didn't do anything to you. I mean, it can't. It's not supposed to be this easy, right? Go on. I can't believe it. That was the easiest fight. My condolences. That was so easy. <laughs> oh. Is it just the right materia I'm build? Looking forward to a little temper tantrum. When you bet it all on a toss, sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Not when you cheat, Chocobo Sam. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. Later. 
And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> Have we now been introduced over, we can go save to what Leslie is? So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that? Oh, gosh. Oh. You greedy bastard, scum sucking piece of shit, oh. bastard, you asshole! Oh. <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? I sure hope so. I did not know we were going to hear Madam M's foul language. I thought for sure it was not going to be, I thought it was gonna be implied, but not explicitly those words. <laughs> that really surprised me. Oh, wow. I love it, okay. So let's buy some more stuff and prepare ourselves for a fight that I already know what's coming. Oh, we can buy three! Yes. Worth it. Sweet. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that build. I mean, uh, inventory. But. Where we were, I mean, we've been getting like 500 gil, if that, as a reward each fight. So we still don't have enough to buy these fancy things. Well, we already have a headband, but... I wonder if this fight is going to be mostly a status effect fight. Because that's going to be kind of a bummer, but I can understand why they might go that direction. So... And that right there, my good dear friends, is where we have to end today's episode, unfortunately. Please leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. This is an amazing part of the game and I'm just reveling in it. That's the right word, reveling? Yes. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, remember to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. That's all. I love you all. Bye!